Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, in this video, uh, we will discuss uh, the language origin. Uh, we were discussing different theories about language origin. The next one is the physical adaptation source. The theory about language origin that how the humans they started speaking language. So, physical adaptation source from its name, it's apparent that. We talk about the physical features of human beings like our tongue, our teeth, our lips, how we, our vocal cords, epiglottis. Epiglottis means the internal part of your, of your throat, where the voice comes out, how the voice comes out. So here we will not discuss about that what were the words came to human beings or what voices came to human beings. No, we will purely discuss that oh, how the features of human beings, they are different from animals and how we are able to pronounce words when we speak so we will discuss the human beings physically so uh, first of all the features of uh, human process that the uh, uh, the physical feature of human it's different from animals and other uh, living things present on this planet earth so every uh, like animals they have different features physical features physical feature means the parts of the body parts of the body here we are only concerned with the parts of our body that are linked only to speech uh, to speech or uh, pronunciation of words or speaking of words then uh, uh, we can say that our features are entirely different from uh, animals and other creatures there is a lot of difference like our teeth are in different uh, sequence the teeth of the animal they are in different sequence uh, just one example the size of our tongue the placement of our tongue it is definitely different from other creatures and that actually makes us to uh, enables us to speak words uh, in different studies it has been mentioned by the linguists that uh, uh, this speech production the words that we speak or the language any language that we speak the humans that they speak language uh, it is dependent on the physical features that we are blessed by all Allah Almighty uh, for example we have a tongue in our teeth the animals they do have tongue in their teeth but they cannot speak words we can speak words, they can only utter few voices, but we can talk about future, past, present, unlimited sentences. So this is all possible because of our physical features. Uh, uh, the human beings, they are the only creature with these uh, features that can uh, have speech production or uh, that can help us to speak. So one by one, we will discuss the physical features in just uh, not in uh, detail but briefly because it's uh, quite common that you just need to make a difference between animals and the humans because animals are living uh, living creatures and they cannot speak words but humans they can speak words they have the ability of speech production so first of all we will discuss teeth that human teeth are upright as we are having our teeth uh, like in a sequence in our mouth uh, like if we talk about a tiger if we talk about a lion or any wild beast they can uh, tear their uh, uh, whatever the food is there they make the other animals to their uh, their food so they can tear an animal into pieces but we don't have that much power like uh, and a lion when he hunts a, a deer or any other creature for his food so uh, the lions they do not cook the food they have the ability they have the power of their teeth that they can tear the uh, their uh, their hunted animal into pieces and they can eat it with uh, uh, by their mouth with the power of their teeth but the humans we cannot do it if we start pulling uh, i mean the meat which is not cooked we may get our teeth out of, out of our mouth so this is the difference between you can make a difference between a wild beast and the human being uh, and uh, our mm, teeth they are better for grinding and chewing uh, in animals they also like uh, if we talk about a cow 
they are they chewing uh, all the time you can see them when they are free and they can also grind but in the same time we what we can do when we put a morsel in our mouth a morsel of bread in our mouth what we say we start chewing it and then we start uh, you know uh, grinding it just like a grinding machine like the piece of morsel we cannot uh, swallow it as the food is we have to uh make it grind it into just like into a powder form then it can easily be swallowed by a human being so our teeth helps us to do it but as far as the other animals are concerned they have their own abilities of their teeth uh and uh, these teeth two sound specific specific sounds they are actually related to our own teeth the sound fa and v because the fa sound is pronounced by Uh, uh touching your uh, lower lip with upper row of teeth f and v again the lower teeth uh, lower lip touches your upper row of teeth so if your uh, lip lower lip doesn't touch your upper row of teeth you cannot produce these two sounds f and v so this is the importance of our uh, teeth in physical adaptation so that we can produce two sounds that are completely dependent on our teeth then we have lips mouth and tongues let's talk about it uh, like uh, flexibility of uh, lips uh, specifically the voice p and b like our upper and lower lip they touch the voice and the air it is collected gathered in our mouth and it comes out with a sudden flow like p and b so if our teeth our lips sorry if our lips doesn't have the capacity to touch either each other and to block the air in our mouth then we we are not able to pronounce these two sounds so we pronounce these two sounds specifically because of the physical feature that the humans that they have been blessed then we talk about the mouth that human mouth is yes human mouth is uh, much much smaller as compared to the other big Uh, animals and uh, we can open and close our mouth very um, in a very short period of time when we speak our mouth it's it opens and it shuts it open and it shuts it carry on for thousands of times in one hour or in two hours we can uh, open our mouth and we shut our mouth but we never notice it while speaking you can notice whenever you are speaking your mouth opens shuts opens shuts but the same capacity Uh, or the same ability is not there in the animals that they they cannot uh, open and shut their mouth with such a rapid pace that as humans they can do uh, let's talk about human tongue uh, it has the capacity to produce many sound definitely without tongue we cannot produce any sound tongue is the basic a uh, tool to produce sound sound here means the words the sentences the language the speech production so uh, our tongue is naturally developed in a way that it produces sounds sometimes we produce a word our our tongue it touches the teeth the sound is pronounced our tongue touches the uh, upper uh, part of the mouth sometimes it touches the lower part of the mouth so uh, in different ways it moves and different words and sentences they are produced so this is about the physical adaptation source there are other also larynx and pharynx and uh, small other features they are the inside part of the throat and that we will discuss